What's going on y'all, Just G here. Now I am going to, this is not a normal video that I post on the weekends. I'm going to install wireless LED lights into the goggles of my Octane Wild Speed helmet from Apex Legends. Wow, that was a mouthful. So his goggles come off and there are magnet holes attached to each side. Now I already have the magnets over there, I just have to install them. But I'm gonna use magnets to complete the circuit for my LEDs that are gonna go inside the goggles. So when you put it on, womp womp. So when you put it on, the goggles automatically turn on and you can, well, I can't really see any way out of them, so. But it's gonna look really cool and it's gonna be a cool effect, but I don't want wires and stuff like that hanging around everywhere. This is not gonna be a, a fully detailed video, so it's not like a tutorial, but as I'm doing it, I'm gonna explain what I'm doing it, and I hope it helps you guys when you're doing your builds as well. So come on along. Okay, so I just attached the magnets to the back of the helmet, right here and here. And then I super glued some elastic material that I just got from Amazon. It's just a little stretchy three inch material. So when I pull the mask off, it basically stretches to the back of the mask. But the glue is still, the glue is still drying. So I'm not gonna pull it off yet. It's still drying. But as you saw, it stretches off and attaches back pretty cool But I have it gluing right now, which I'll probably take these off. So inside the goggles, I don't know if you guys can see this, I can't tell. But inside the goggles, I got the lights actually glowing. And if I use my little tester, I have a little tester with a battery in it. I can test to see if they're working. Now the top down view should show now when I do test them, so if I do test them, they should glow. They were just working. There they go. Yay. Yay. I don't know how they look from the other end. Oh, they, that looks badass. The badassery. All right. Now we just got to do the magnets inside the helmet. And then try to dry fit everything to see if it all works.
Let's go. All right, so I got the LED lights to work wirelessly, believe it or not. You take them off, you put them on, the magnets complete the circuit and they turn right on. So it works out perfectly. Along with that, I did the magnets for the back of the helmet. So you can see right there, I have the magnets and inside there's an elastic little strap. So it keeps the back attached to the helmet but when you put it on, the magnets snap right into place and it keeps the helmet on. So it fits perfectly. Now that I got the helmet primed, I got the electronics done in it and I placed it all, I can take it all back apart and then I'm going to prime it again because I scratched it. I'm glad I, I'm glad I waited to put the electronics in before I did the final paint because I would have just scratched up the paint like crazy. But I'm about to take it all apart, sand it and prime it one more time and make sure I get all the little, all the little layer lines from the, uh, the printer out and then I'm ready to paint it up. But man, this is really exciting, man. I'm so glad I got this to work wirelessly. Oh, it looks amazing. All right, y'all. Y'all be easy. If y'all want to see me do some other builds, I'll leave some down in the comments or I'll leave a link or a tag or something like that. And you guys can check out some more videos. So next week, I'll have the final build of this. Y'all can catch that video next Saturday, probably. Y'all have a great one. God bless y'all. Peace out.